Hello there, it's Lee from Lee Brogan DIY and Home Maintenance. Today is all about saving you some money. Hello, it's Lee from Lee Brogan DIY and Home Maintenance. Um, I'm around my own house today. Uh, just a tip, because this could save you a lot of money. Um, uh, plumbers charge a fortune. That's what they should, you know, they're tradesmen and they've um, got years of experience behind them, most of them, and they've done everything, done all the tests, passed all their exams, so rightly so. However, a small job you can do to save yourself a lot of money and a lot of aggravation and a lot of heartache is check all your taps that are outside, your bib taps and that, your hoses basically. They call them hose unit bib taps. So find your taps, follow the um, pipe back and it'll obviously terminate somewhere in the house. Now, 99 times out of 100, they have an isolator valve or lever ball valve or butterfly valve, something along that ilk. Turn it off, okay? Now, because it's getting cold, you're not going to be watering your garden again. Unless you're like us, you've got chickens, you've got to wash it down every day. Um, but turn your water off, go out to your taps and turn open them fully. So what happens is any water that's left in the pipe will expand and will it'll find it it'll force its way to the easiest point the point of least resistance so it will come out of your tap hopefully no split pipe and if you do get a split pipe it's no big deal because in the summer when you turn the tap back on your isolator back on um, you'll hear it coming out and you'll turn it off immediately it's not like it's going to burst um, particularly in a garage if you've got pipe work in a garage it's not going to burst and two days later you're going to come find it which is what happened to me one year um, I didn't turn my water off I had copper in it not plastic it burst I didn't come into my garage for two days and then found it was about an inch deep of water so turn your isolator valves off open your taps and you'll save yourself a lot of aggravation and a lot of money all right and if you trace it back and you find there isn't a way of isolating that water without turning the water off in the house, give a plumber a ring, give me a ring, give a handyman, any any guys a ring, or watch a, a, a tutorial on YouTube. Turn your water off, cut it, put an isolator valve in. They're, they're not a difficult job. Um, worth doing, so you can turn it off every year. Obviously, make sure your pipes are lagged, and where possible, remove copper plastic. Plastic's a lot more malleable. Um, you know it's in the winter it's all baggy and it looks horrible but ultimately that's because um, there is movement in that pipe so the water won't burst through the copper and obviously copper joints it'll find the weak point. So if you can change your garden pipe work to plastic, brilliant. If you can't, make sure you've got an isolator and turn it off. If you haven't got an isolator, do it this year. Otherwise you could come unstuck. All right, just a tip. I'm more about saving people money and saving them time and hassle than running out and repairing them. Much rather you guys just said, brilliant, I've done that. You saved me a, you know, saved me a rocket. Rather than Lee. Um, I've got 15 gallons of water in my garage. Can you please come sort it out? All right. Anyway, have a nice Christmas. Um, we're in that time of year now. It's getting colder. So I hope you'll have a lovely Christmas and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, guys.